Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today we are going to do a bill condensing for our binders and then we are going to look at where our sinking funds ended up for the end of this month and see what progress we've made for the month of September. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay, so we are gonna just start over here in the Mickey binder and see what we can condense over here. So for the Mickey challenge, and let me zoom in, we've got 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we currently have $34 in here. And so we are going to do 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and condense. All right, resort is fully funded. Same with theme park tickets. Next up, we're going to look at dining. Dining, we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 375. So let's see. 350, 70, 5. All right, next up is drinks. And we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 210. So we'll do 210. All right, for snacks, snacks we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we're gonna pull a 50. Souvenirs. All right, so we have two $25 gift cards, but let's see what we have in cash. We've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So we've got 75 here. So 75 in cash. So then that's 100, 125 total for souvenirs. All right, photo pass. Photo pass, we've got $25. And we can't condense that anymore and experiences. So experiences, we also have a $25 gift card and then we've got 20, 30, 40, 45. So I'm just gonna change these out for a 20. 
So 45 plus 25 is $70 for experiences. Sorry, not 70, 70, okay. All right, so that's gonna be it for this binder. We'll come up later for the total stuff over here. Let's move on to our savings challenge binder. Whoops. And I do wanna edit this. Okay, so the savings challenge binder. First up is our fall challenge, and we currently have $5 in there. Remember, we did finish the buy the sea challenge this month. Christmas, we've got 100, 20, 40, 50, 60. So we will change that for a 20. So 160 for Christmas. All right, retirement. So retirement, we currently have $500 towards our Roth IRA this year. And then we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. So that is 595. And let's see. Trade that out for some 20s. So $5.95 for retirement. Emergency savings. We've got 100, 50, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 240. And we are gonna switch that out. So 240 now for emergency savings. Vacation. So vacation, we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So this 500 I am going to put in the bank and do a um, placeholder for. Let me grab that. So 500, all right, and then we've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. So 257, so 250, five, Six, seven. Okay. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we've got, so that's five, six, seven, seven, fifty, seven, fifty, seven. All right, for vacation. All right, so next up is gonna be pet emergency. And we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Lord, help me count. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So let's just go ahead. We're going to trade these out for 20s. So 85 for pet emergency. Date night, we only have $5 in there. 
fuel up. We've got 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270, 75, 80, 85. So 285. So let's go ahead and trade this out for 220s. So 285 for travel slash fuel up. One dollar challenge does not change, um, but we do. Let me double check what the last um, one dollar challenge ended up at 59. So we have 59 $1 bills in there. And then our credit card savings challenge is at 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So 455. And let's see, we're going to do. So that is four fifty five. So four hundred and fifty five for our credit card points challenge. That's just that's that's amazing for me. All right, and now we are gonna go up to our sinking funds binder. Where are we at? Okay. So sinking funds binder, we're gonna start in card down payment. We currently have $2,000 in the bank and then 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 45, 50. So 250. So $2,250 for card down payment. Next up is car maintenance, and we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So we're gonna trade this out for a hundo. So 154 for car maintenance. Next up is car mods, and we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 360, 370, 75, 80, 85, 90. So 390. Next up is racing events, and racing events has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 45, 50. So 150. Next up is running, and running has 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 65, 70, 71. So 271.
Next up is Home. Home has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Next up is clothing, and that has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Gifts has 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. And electronics. As ten dollars. Okay, that is it for the sinking funds. Now let's check out our subscription binder. Let's see, Jim. I don't think we don't have to condense that. Let's see where we're at with Disney Plus. We've got 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Tone it up. We've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. All right, so 45 and tone it up. BJ's, we've got 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think we just have okay yeah we just have five dollars in there right now so that's it for our subscription binder cash envelope binder is getting pretty thick so let me condense what I can in some of these so we've got 50 20 40 60 81 20 25 30 uh I don't I don't think I want to condense that I don't really want a hundred dollar bill in mine He's got a lot of fives, so. All right. Groceries is probably fine. Health. I'm going to keep some of those lower denominations in here. Gas, let's see. Oh, yeah, gas I can probably do. I'll get a 10. I like to keep some of these denominations a little bit lower in my cash envelopes just to make it easier for me when I go to pay back that credit card. Um, but this binder is pretty thick, so I wanted to do a little bit in here today. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. that's enough in here all right that's it for the condensing portion of this video as you see we uh we made some progress there now I am gonna go ahead and figure out what our um, difference is in each of these sinking fund categories and then we'll be back to go over the progress that we made this month all right y'all we are back and I am blown away by these results like I had no idea I felt like September was an okay month um but I didn't realize how much we actually saved so let's get into all of the numbers so up over here in sinking funds um, everything is in the positive with the exception of electronics and that is because I bought my new phone um, it was my birthday present to myself um, so that one went down by 105 overall for the month but in our sinking funds we gained three hundred and thirty eight dollars this month so that is a win when we are looking at our savings challenges, the only one that went down is our by the sea slash fall challenge. And that is because we finished the by the sea challenge um, and distributed that money. Remember that went towards um, a few fun things. So that went towards dining, um, our fun cash envelope, and then it also went towards our vacation. So technically that um, area went down by $107 but it was not um that was a planned um go that was a planned you know one so not a big deal everything else though went up within our savings challenges so we went up total in that savings challenge binder 621 and i am most proud of that vacation one um, we did spend 160 dollars or 168 out of vacation this month but we still went up over $347 and we are almost fully funded for that vacation um, technically based on my tracker we only need to add 75 more dollars to that to hit our um, 1k goal that we had for that vacation um, but yeah so we went, went up 621 and then when we look at our Disney binder, the only one that went down was the Mickey challenge. And again, that was just because we finished one round of the Mickey challenge, distributed that money. Um, I think I put it towards tickets because I needed a little extra and then maybe one of the other savings challenges. I don't remember exactly. But so that technically went down by 86 points because we started or $86 because we started a new challenge. Um, but everything else went up. We added $275 to dining, $130 to drinks, and then a little bit here and there for the rest of them for a grand total of $449 added to the Disney binder. And that brings our grand total saved this month to $1,398. And honestly, like when you look at most of the numbers here that went up are not very big. Most are under $100. But overall, that is a big savings for September. And it was kind of a busy month for us. We had two birthdays and, you know, just schedule changes. So I am very proud of that. So when we're looking at our overall savings um right now we have 5616 well we started september with 5616 and ended with 7014 dollars in savings um and that's just that number is 
crazy to me, guys. Like, crazy. It was just last year I didn't have more than $1,000 in our emergency savings or, you know, in any savings anywhere. So to have that amount of money that is technically savings is crazy to me. But that is why I do this method. Like, it... I don't know, it just works for me. And I am a firm believer in it for sure. But anyways, that is gonna be it for today. Um, come back tomorrow, we are gonna go over kind of what goals we hit for September, what we kind of, um, dip, what goals we did not hit. We're gonna go over what our goals are for October. Um, October is going to be a busy month for me, so we won't have too many crazy goals, but we will still have goals because goals are important. But yeah, come back tomorrow for that video. I'll be going over my entire budget for October. So I hope to see you then, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!